Hello. Yeah, I had a little field trip today to uh, the world's largest or top world's largest collector of uh, rare glass, specifically uranium glass. And this glass is doped with radioactive uranium-235 and 238. Hold on a second, I'll turn on the black light. Um, we went through his place, and I have a video coming up showing his place and just the mountains of uh, rare glass that he has, and I only showed a small portion of it. But anyway, me and my buddy went through the whole place with a Geiger counter. And uh, some glass is more radioactive than another. And I tested hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of pieces, literally. And these two goblets, I got four of them, are smoking hot radioactive. And I found out um, that uh, there was a short period there where uh, uranium glass was uh, made by a couple or one manufacturer, I don't remember which, with 25% radioactive uranium content. And these are smoking hot radioactive and i like to uh, show you these under uv but i first wanted to show you what they look like under regular light i love uh, lanterns and this is a uranium lantern but uh, yeah check out the next video of the guy's place he actually buys and sells this stuff and oddly enough of the thousands and thousands of pieces there and the countless hundreds that i tested these the only pieces everything here is radioactive all of it's radioactive but these other pieces are made with roughly 2% um, uranium, radioactive uranium, whereas these pieces are made with 25 or over 25% uranium. I'm sorry my Geiger counter is in the basement, but wow. So anyway, let me turn off my light and uh, let's uh, turn on the UV and take a look at... Uh... By the way, the UV light actually causes the radioactive uranium to uh, fluoresce, not only the creepy green color right now, but wait till you see it under right UV. So now let's turn on the UV light. <laughs> oh, yeah, stuff is sexy, isn't it? Take a look at this candy dish back here. Look at that sucker glow. Also too, the reason why I bought this, I got this candy dish for $15. It glows almost white, and it was really radioactive too, but nowhere near. Nothing in this guy's place, and he has two large buildings full of it, came even close to these goblets. They're actually not goblets. These are sherbet, um, sherbet uh, bowls for eating sherbet ice cream out of, which would be a really bad idea because these, guys, <laughs> these sherbet bowls, man, they really made the Geiger counters scream, scream, scream. This is also, too, a candy dish that they're sitting on and here's the uh the um yeah the uh, oil lantern this is a little salt shaker i don't think i'd want to put any salt in there but uh i've uh yeah i bought four of these i gave one to a relative look uh how that uh opaque one just is gorgeous isn't it I wished I had a small compact Geiger counter like my rich buddy. He brought his uh, compact uh, Geiger counter. And uh, I was using it for hours today. And uh, after testing hundreds and hundreds of pieces, these two goblets are the ones that just scream radioactive. I'm like, why are these so off the hook? And then I did some research that... Uh, one or two manufacturers for a period there in the uh, 1940s used a lot of uranium in the glass, and these are supposed to be 25% or higher of uranium content, U-235, U-238, and they stopped doing it uh, in World War II there for a few years because uranium was a, a commodity for uh, the war effort, of course, and then it started back, but they never started back up with uh ultra high uh so i find it fascinating that they're really really radioactive stuff because the people that collect the glassware and this guy's a glassware collector they don't collect it for its radioactive content well to me that's the reason why i wanted these these were basically the least expensive things in his whole place there at five bucks a pop but their collector value is negligible they don't collect them for uh, uranium content but i however do that's the reason why I bought these. 
Uh, they collect them for the rarity of the glass and who makes it, on and on and on. But the only thing I cared about was how smoking radioactive are they? And the answer, in case of these two suckers, is really smoking radioactive. But look, look how beautiful they are. Isn't that really cool? See, the ultraviolet is uh, causing the U-235 and U-238 uh, fissionable. Yeah, we can actually say this glassware is full of uh, fissionable uranium. So it's causing the U-235, U-238 to uh, fluoresce this super creepy green color. So anyway, I love uh, cool scientific stuff. I love glass. I'm not a glassware collector unless it's optical glass. Yeah, the optical glass is doped with thorium. This stuff is doped with uh, uh, potent U-235, U-238. And, uh, man, I would not want to eat or drink out of these suckers, I'm telling you right now. I love, the thing I love the most, even though it was pretty darn radioactive compared to everything else, I love the radioactive um, uh, lamp, oil lamp that I got. There we go. Let's turn off the UV light. It still looks kind of creepy green in regular light. But man, not like it does in UV, huh? Oh, also too, very, very fascinating. Since there's a lot of UV present in the daylight, of course, when you take these out in bright daylight, man, they really pop. They pop hardcore. They're uh, really fascinatingly beautiful. So anyway, I wanted to show you that. I love uh, cool scientific stuff. And I love glass. These are circa 1930s. He said this was circa 1920s. This is also too circa 19. This one's an old one. Um, I think he said early 1900, very early 1900s on this oil uh, lantern. And also to radioactive salt shaker. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.